This is the solution to written homework 33. So for part A, we're requested to find the M partial. So I'll rewrite F just a little bit and say that it is this expression, G big R squared over little r squared multiplied by m. And we want to compute the m partial of this. And all of these things in round parentheses are constant with respect to m. So the m partial of this expression is just that constant. So the m partial is g big R squared divided by little r squared. So <clears throat> g is positive, and big R is positive, somewhere here. And little r is bigger than big R, so it's positive. And therefore, <clears throat> since all of those quantities are positive since G is positive, R, big R is positive, and little r is positive. We can see that it's obvious that the M partial is positive. <clears throat> so the reason why, so, so that's why it's positive, and the reason why it makes sense for the M partial to be positive this means that <clears throat> as the mass m increases, the force f must also increase. which is just to say things that are more massive are heavier. Their weight uh, is larger. Part B, find F sub little r. OK, so I'm going to rewrite F just slightly and write it as mg big R squared and then multiplied by little r to negative 2. And the reason why I did that is that everything inside of the round parentheses is constant with respect to little r. Therefore, the r partial <coughs> will be uh, this constant mg big R squared and then multiplied by the derivative, the partial derivative of little r squared with respect to little r. So that would be multiplied by negative 2 little r to negative 3. And then simplifying a little bit, uh, this is saying that the r partial is <clears throat> negative 2 mg big R squared divided by little r cubed. Now again, for the same reasons as above, with, uh, with m, so since all of these quantities, m is greater than 0, g is greater than 0, little big r is greater than 0, and little r is greater than 0, that means that this fraction is positive, and so its negation is negative. <clears throat> so fr is negative. So why does that make sense? <clears throat> so what it's saying is as the distance from 
the earth <clears throat> increases. The force F due to gravity decreases. Which is just to say, the further away that you get from Earth, the less you will feel its gravitational pull. And that's the solution to the exercise.